Hi everyone, this is Dr. Bob, and today I'm going to talk about thought field therapy. This is my thought field therapy video, and what this is is a, is a way of dealing with emotional issues. It's based on work that was done by Roger Callahan back in the 1950s. And the, what you do, what you do with this is you use uh, the tapping exercise. It's based on acupuncture, Chinese acupuncture. You choose those pressure points, but instead of sticking needles in them, you just tap them. This has to do with the energy bands that run through your body, the energy um, meridians that go through your body. And whenever you get stuck on something or something is in your life isn't working for you, you focus on exactly what it is. Let's say, for example, that you're angry about something. And so what, would you, what you would do is you would perform this little exercise, you focus on that anger and keep that in your, keep that in your feeling, in your emotional base. You focus on the anger and you play it through and then you do the, the tapping therapy and then you retest to see what it, it is, see how you feel about it. You start out, I usually use a notebook for it and I will write down all the things that bother me and how I feel about them. Angry, frustrated, upset, sad, uh, whatever is really bothering me. And then write them all down. And then, and then go back and put them in order or priority. Which one is the strongest? Let's say, for example, I'm angry about something. And then I'm also sad about something. But I'm more angry than I am sad. So that's going to be higher than the sad part. And then I'm going to give it a, a range. I'm angry. I'm going to give it a range 1 to 10. So let's see. I'm angry and the level is an 8. So I mark that down as an 8. And then I'll focus on that anger. Whatever it is that's making me angry. And while I'm doing it, I'll go through the tapping therapy. And then I'll come back around and I'll look what I've written down. Angry. And then I say, well, how do I feel now? Nutty 8 may have gone down to a 4. Okay, good. Is there something else that's stronger? Oh, well, now it's the sad. Sad is actually higher than the angry. Now, what you know, a lot of times it is like peeling an onion. And what's the beauty of it is that you peel the onion away, and sooner or later you get down to the core being that is you, that is yourself. You strip away all the emotions that drag you down, that keep you from doing the things that you want to do, that keep you from fulfilling your life. You're scared of things, you're angry at things, you don't want to talk to people, you don't want to talk to this guy, you don't want to be over there. These things all hold you down. Use thought field therapy to break through those barriers. Those barriers are your barriers, they're not the outside world. It's the difficulty. Some people say, I don't want to go to the other side of the yard. It's not the yard that's stopping you. It's you. I don't want to go into that room over there. It's not the room that's stopping you. It's you. So let's get down to brass tacks. All right? What is thought field therapy? First, it is the meridians in the body. And, and discovered by the Chinese thousands of years ago, and lately evolved into tapping therapy by Roger Callahan back in the 1950s. I'm going to go through this te te technique step by step. Now I've already talked about how to record the things that you want to record. Now we're going to record what the actual taps are. The first thing you're going to do is take the karate chop part of your hand right there and you're going to tap it with, see this is the part that you're tapping right here, and you're going to tap it with your fingers. And as you're tapping, you're going to say to yourself, I accept myself even though I have this problem. I accept myself even though I have this problem. I accept myself even though I have this problem. Now, when you do this, you might run into a little bit of problem. You don't actually feel the change right away. What you do sense is a natural freedom to do the things that you want to do. This is the first step. What this does is it's an energy reversal. For example, you're walking down the street and you see people on the, you're walking on the sidewalk and you see someone walking on the left side instead of the right side and they're coming right at you. This would be an example of a person with a negative energy. When you have negative energy, you do things to harm yourself. You do things to, to bring the world down on you. Negative energy means your energy is instead of moving forward in life, you're moving backwards. 
things are going downhill. If things are going downhill, that means your energy is backwards. This is how you get it to go forwards. That's the first step. Get the energy in your body going the right way. If it's going backwards, you're going to go backwards. You're going to slip down instead of rising up, it's rather than rise up. So that's the first step. Let's get the energy going forward. The next one is tapping on the forehead. I'm not going to tell you what all these stand for. I know that they have different emotions attached to each one of them. I don't remember what they are. But let's do the do it in order. Uh, I normally do, again, you're keeping focused on what it is that's bothering you. I'm frustrated about this. Focus on how you feel. Frustrated. I'm angry. Frustrated about this. And then tap through the entire sequence. Forehead. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Tap hard, but not hard enough to hurt. If it hurts, you're tapping too hard. If it doesn't hurt, tap harder. Alright, so I give it 10 to 20, 10 to 20 taps. Okay, and next is the eyebrows. So forehead, eyebrows, right here, tapping. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then side of eyes, right here, these little bony ups right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then under the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay, so twenty. I'm giving it twenty taps. Now I'm holding again, I'm still holding it. In in my mind and in my heart, what I'm feeling is bothering me. What's bringing me down? What's tearing me apart? After the eyes and the face, and this yes, after this, 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 and this, you go to about two inches below, there's a little hole in your throat right there where you can touch. Let's get that down there. And then there are two places on your chest. One is right here where you just beat your chest like Tarzan. Because uh, 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 I can't do Tarzan. Not anymore. Maybe as a young man. Um, and of course you can hit this hard. Not too hard. Don't break your chest. But I don't think you can. But the next place is about two inches below the armpit, about right there. Now I do both sides. The next one, of course, is the side of the thumb. Now I'm going to point at the place where you tap. It's actually at the beginning of, well, we might say the end of the fingernail, but it's the beginning of the fingernail as you go away on the side of the finger. In this case, I've done the thumb. Whether you do left side or right side depends on how many times you've done either side. Mostly you switch up. You do your right side one time, do your left side the other day. But you don't have to do them both, just one side or the other. Basic idea is to find out where the energy, light energy blocks are and tap it out. So, right here, the edge of my thumb, I'll put my fingers together like this. And okay, now the hands. Um, starts with the thumb right here the beginning on each finger or thumb it is the beginning of the fingernail you tap right Two. there okay if it's on the as I hold my hand uh, the back of the hand up the whatever is on the inside this is inside this is towards me if it's on the outside it's outside okay so first we're going to do the thumb one two three four five one two four finger Remember, on each one, I'm doing it the side of the finger at the beginning of the fingernail. So it's literally that spot right there. Middle. Let's see, this is going to be middle finger inside. Ring finger outside. And then little finger is both inside and outside so okay the next one is this little piece here but you're tapping this you're not counting the taps what you're doing is 
what you're doing is something a little bit differently. So you're tapping this. This is right between the, the, the baby finger and the ring finger, but it's on these little, between these two little bones right here. You usually use about three fingers. You can use three fingers and get right in between those two. And that's one of your meridians right there. So you're tapping that, but as you're doing it, you are going, and I'm going to hold it down here, is eyes open, eyes closed, down left, down right, circle, reverse circle, hum, count, one, two, three, four, five, hum. And all this time I'm doing this, I'm tapping right there. And then, of course, you're also maintaining focus on your, your, your emotional distress, whatever's causing you emotional distress. The last part is going to be the feet. The feet are very, very important because it is... <coughs> The feet are very important because for some reason the feet are what keeps me from moving forward or doing something that I need to be doing. The feet are very important because for some reason if I get stuck the feet seem to be the most important thing about getting moving again. If I'm stalled on something I can't seem to get moving on a project or what I want to do. I tap out the feet. Well, here's well again. I can't tell you what does what, but here's the, it's right between the big toe and the second toe. This little ridge in between these two bones here, and I think they are bones. And then it's tapping. I use four fingers. Okay, the last spot is right between the ball of the foot, right inside that little place, right there and you just right between these two pads and it's okay so that is the complete sequence do this whenever you're feeling um, whenever you're feeling upset about something if something's going right in your life then tap it out alright don't reach for the bottle reach for the reach for the fingers thanks for watching my program